Now we can work eight to five and then shut down and spend five to 10 with our family and be present. If we run an efficient business where we're not buying leads, not buying leads, don't buy leads. <laughs> I had to go and that I was gonna learn so much out of this. I didn't know what I was gonna learn out of this, but I knew that I was gonna learn something because I, the thing about me is I'll never quit. I've been coaching now for almost a little over two years, but I'll be here for 22 years. Because when I start something, I just don't stop. And that's even after there's no results. And that's real estate. I didn't sell anything for eight months when I first got in the business, but I wasn't gonna stop because I saw other people selling stuff. And that's one thing I want you to realize is that there are people selling millions and millions of dollars in property. There are people, there are thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people that are doing what you want to do. So why shouldn't you be able to do it if you work hard? My thing has always been, I want to outwork everyone. If I, I feel like if I outwork them, then I will beat them. Okay, so when the market crashed, I lost everything. I was so curious to why I failed because I was the most honest, hardworking, dependable. I was everything that I'm supposed to be, but I lost it all. So I started reading. I read 100 books during that three-year period. I watched the market. I tried to figure out what the top producers that were still selling through the down market were doing and what the ones like myself that had to get out of the business, what they were doing wrong. And long story short, a few things that I learned. I just, want to, I just want to hit a few key points that I realized during this time. Something in one of those books, I, re, I don't remember what book it was or what, it, what happened, but something clicked in my mind and I realized there it is. Up to that point, from when I got in real estate to that point, everything was about the deal. Everything was about the money, the transaction, the closing, getting them to sign the contract, getting the deal done. That was the main focus. And something clicked and I realized, wait a minute, it's about the people. The people are still going to do more deals later, right? And they, they did this deal not because of a deal, they did this deal because they're investors, they're trying to do this, or their mom died, or their kids went to college, or they got a new job, or they're downgrading, they just had a baby, they, got a, they need an extra bedroom. There's a bigger reason for what's going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision to buy or sell a property. And we're so focused on the deal, the deal. And we, 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 we're blinded to what's going on actually in our client's life above the deal that's actually making the deal happen. And if we can tap into that, now we got something. Now we have a real relationship with someone, right? And every person you create a relationship with, these, these prospects, these people in your market that are buying and selling properties, as many of those people that you can create a lifelong relationship with, lifelong real relationship, voice to voice, those are worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career. The repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. And see, everybody wants a prospect that's ready to do a deal right now today. When I got back in the business, I built it on just people, not deals. I don't care if they want to do a deal today or not. If they want to do a deal later, I'm fine with that. Let's create a game plan around how we're going to make that happen in six months, two years, five years. Let's create a game plan with me as your agent, you as the buyer or seller of how we're going to make this happen and what we're going to do in the meantime to set ourselves up for the best situation. I was looking on MLS when, when we were at the bottom of the market and I realized some of my clients that I represented at the top were still buying and selling at the bottom. But I wasn't representing them, I was out of the business. That was an aha moment for me. And that's when I realized, wait a minute, it, that, reass that, that reaffirmed what, what clicked in the book, that it's about people. And that's when I was like, okay, this is, I'm onto something here. If I would have maintained a relationship with those people through the crash, then I would have represented them at the bottom. 
So that opened my mind up to the fact that since it's a people business and you can't talk to every single person ever in your life, in your market, you can't talk to every single person in Minneapolis ever. It creates a situation where business is unlimited. And what we're doing is we're putting ourselves in a box and saying there's only so many leads. Well, we're classifying a lead as a motivated person who wants to buy or sell something right this second. When to me, that's not a lead. Everyone is a lead. Every human being in your market is a lead. They're going to buy or sell something. Right? So, to take it a step further, another reason why it's unlimited is because you can't handle all the deals that are available to just you. There's more deals, there's more loyal clients in your market, loyal, that will only deal with you forever. More of them in your market than you'll ever find. It's unlimited. And, and, and we're not thinking this way. See, I could sit up here and tell you what I do day to day. I could give you the, the exactly what you need to be doing, what you need to say, how you need to do it, how you need to follow up, conversion, all that stuff. But until you understand the mindset behind why you're doing it and, and what this is all about, we can't even go there. That's why I want to come here and talk for 20 minutes. I can't tell you how to do it because a lot of you haven't heard of me yet. So I have to tell you how I think about it first. Right, so from contract to close is a process. From relationship, from point of contact to contract is a process. It's all a long process, regardless of how you slice it up. You can't do 100 deals right now and get paid for all of them today. Never happened. It's a process. Because the process is the process, it creates a situation where we can't handle it all. Because it's a process, okay? So now our, now our success is predicated on how much you can handle. How many deals can you handle at once? Because every, everybody can handle a different amount. I can handle a lot. I always have 20 deals under contract, 50 listings, always. Um, I refer to it as a cup. Everyone has a different size cup. Your cup represents how much you can handle. Right? The objective is to find out how big your cup is by overwhelming yourself with business, right? To, to the point of being so overwhelmed you can't handle it all, and now you know where your breaking point is. Because some people have two pendings and three listings, and they're done. They're spending 40 hours a week for like three months, and I, I don't understand. I'll never get that. Because I have 20 pendings, and 50 listings, and I spend maybe one day out of the week total when you slice up all the hours, different hours I spend on it. I still have four free days a week to go after new business. Everybody's so into what they have going on right now, that's your cup. See what I'm saying? So realize that everybody has a different size cup. Figure out how, what the size is your cup because you overwhelmed yourself with business one day. You made a thousand calls, you spent a bunch of money on ads or something. You overwhelmed yourself with business to find out where you stand. Now, we're going to scale back to just the size of our cup. And we're going to stay right there long term to reach our full potential. And what I don't want you to do is compare yourself to me. Compare yourself to the other top producer in Minneapolis. Compare yourself to anybody else. Because they're not you. And you shouldn't worry about what, if they're producing more, good for them. Let's stay over here. Let's produce all that we can produce and get 1% and, and get better every day. That's what I want. If you don't get anything out of this but this one thing, I want you to get 1% better every day with something. What I really want you all to do is join my free coaching program and learn how to effectively communicate who you are as a person that you care about people to your clients, not that you're just there for a deal, because that's what I teach. The next thing I realized is that it's okay if the market crashes, right? Fear is holding everyone back. It's the reason why you're here right now. You're scared of the market crashing. You're scared of looking dumb. You're scared of rejection. You're scared of making phone calls. You're scared of, I don't know what you're scared of. 
but you're scared of something that's holding you back. You're scared to overwhelm yourself with business. You got a family. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with business because you want to spend time with your family, right? But if you run your business and you build it on efficiency, now we can work eight to five and then shut down and spend five to 10 with our family and be present. If we run an efficient business where we're not buying leads, not buying leads, don't buy leads. <laughs> when the market crashes, closings continue to happen every single day. I want to repeat this. When the market crashes, what's going on in your market right now, what's going on in every market around the world, and when the market crashes, closings continue to happen every single day. So why do we get scared of it? Why do we get out of the business? I'll tell you why, because it shifts from first time home buyers and all these people that are excited when the market's going up. Those aren't the same clients as when the market is down. The clientele changes. And because you don't, you don't realize this, your clients went away because the market's shifted. Now you, you think I gotta leave too. No, we stay in there. We continue creating new business and find out who wants to do what. The buyers at the bottom, at the crash, they wanna buy right now because it's cheap before it goes up. The sellers have to sell, they're in trouble. They gotta sell right now. So the market crashing creates urgency in the market. And all the agents leave. And I'm just sitting here selling everything. Right? So I don't want you to be scared of anything because you know why? We create what we fear. If, you, if you, you're scared to make phone calls because you think people are going to hang up on you, that's what's going to happen. If you're scared the market's going to crash, you're going to have to get out of the business, that's what's going to happen. It's going to crash and you'll get out of the business. Whatever you're scared of, whatever you fear, that's what's going to create, that's what's that's what going to happen. So quit thinking about it and quit fearing it. Be fearless and go, right? This is a big one, relationships over transactions. This is a big one. What I want you to do with your clients from now on is I want you to connect with them first before you convert. Connect first, then convert. What, what we're doing as an industry is trying to convert, 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 convert. Right, and we're, we're leaving so many deals on the table because of our conversion process, we're, we're running so many prospects away that wanna buy later that we don't get those deals later because we pressured them to convert now. And we're not building our databases to the potential it could be, whereas in three years, you could be the number one agent in Minneapolis. You gotta, you gotta take your, your, your mindset, go 180 with it. Relationships over transactions. I don't want you to ask people if they want to buy or sell. I want you to see, I want you to tell them you're in real estate, a house around the corner sold, is there anything I can do for you? And if not, is there an agent you would work with? And if not, okay, cool, look, I'm sure at some point you will do something. I'd love the opportunity to work with you in the future, can I stay in touch? They're not gonna do anything right now anyway. We're talking to them anyway, we're, we're there. This is a precious moment. We're just gonna give it up? Okay, I'm running out of time. I got a lot more to say, but I gotta move on here. Um, if you guys want me to be your coach, someone who is selling 100 properties a year as a single agent, travels around the world spreading this message, I'm literally, my mission is to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry, and I'm doing it. There's 17,000 agents in the program and I get messages every day of someone who said that they were about to quit three months ago when they found me, they implemented my 90 day action plan, my online course, we do live training twice a month and direct access to me. Take a picture. <laughs> and when you get in there and you realize how free it is, and how real it is, I want you to tell all your friends about it too because I'm literally trying to create a movement that educates agents how to effectively communicate who they are. Because everybody here is a great agent that really cares about their clients. The problem is you're not communicating that to your client. 
because you're going by the old 1980 scripts. And it's coming across as though you're just another agent trying to do a deal. I want you to find out why people want to buy or sell and help them through those big life moments. Okay? So if I did my job, if I helped you get just a little bit closer to becoming the top producer that, I, that you want to be, I want you to stand up and give it up for me because I'm out of here.